Hey everyone, Happy New Year. To start off a new year, I thought I would do a new workspace tour. I do this at least once a year and I tend to change up my workspace a lot. So this one I'm happy to share with you because I got a new drawer for Christmas thanks to my siblings and I even changed up my desk which I will talk about later. But first, I like to share the things that I put on my windowsill. They're all little cute little knickknacks and plants. Um, I have a lot of Cup No Fuchiko figures and a sushi cat. <laughs> um, and this pot I named Zoe it has a really beautiful succulent. And I have a bunch of crystals and stones and a note that says be patient to remind myself. And I have another plant as well, which is thriving. <laughs> I have a dream catcher above and it's just hanging there so beautifully and next to the window I have a couple of photos I took, a succulent from Bubble Park and a quote that says, may the space between where I am and where I want to be inspire me and I also have another photo of one of my favorite places here in San Diego, it's Sunset Cliffs, another cup note Buchiko, she's so cute. And then this lamp. I got from Ikea, um, most of my furniture is from Ikea. And here is my favorite hydro flask, it's always on my desk. And here is my ancient MacBook Pro. I also have a Jonathan Adler phone dock. Now my chair I got from Target, it's not the best, it's cute, but I actually stubbed my toe really bad one time. So yeah. <laughs> so this desk is also from Ikea. Um, this is actually the desk that I switched out with my mom. So I gave her my longer one with the two drawers because I just didn't like it as much as I thought I would. Um, I kept bumping my knees and my legs uh, underneath the table. So this one really works well for me. And right below I store my welcome tablet. I have had this for a while. I use it for when I do my handwriting for all my videos. And now into the drawer. This drawer is from Ikea. It has five drawers. Now the first drawer is where I put all of my pencils, colored pencils, like my Faber-Castell, my Prismacolor Very Thins. I also have my Graph Gear 500 with the extra lead and my click eraser. And next to it, are a bunch of all of my inks and pens. I have this Dewdrop ink pad. Uh, I have a bunch of Muji pens, uh, some chalk markers that I rarely use, um, Copic multi-liners, my Micron pens in various sizes. I have a bunch of other pens like my Pentel ink brush. And behind it, I have the Arteza Real Brushed Pens in a set of 48. And on the side, I have some Higgins ink that I use along with this bamboo pen. And then I have a standard ruler on the side. Now to the second drawer is where I put all of my paints and paintbrushes. Now the first set is my DIY gouache palette. I will leave a link to the video on how to make this. And then I have a rag to wipe my brushes on. Right next to it I have my watercolor set. I bought this tin from Amazon and then I put all of my Schmincke watercolors in there. Which I really love, it's so compact. And in this bin, I have all of my paint brushes. First, I have a lot of the Arteza water brushes in different sizes. This one's Arteza as well. And I have some Masters Touch paint brushes from Hobby Lobby. Um, my silver black velvet paint brushes. And then I have the detail paint brushes from Arteza. And just a bunch of other paint brushes like the Niji water brush. I also have the pencil aquash in there as well. And behind it I have this Glossier pouch filled with my um, Winsor & Newton designer's gouache. 
So those, th these are the ones that I use in my DIY gouache palette. And I have some extra watercolor pans in there. And now into the third drawer are all of my sketchbooks. Oh boy. <laughs> So the first thing is my bullet journal. If you guys are interested in a tour, let me know in the comments down below. And in this glossier pouch, I have a bunch of the highlighters and pen and white out that I use from my Bujo. And in this box, I have a bunch of stickers, mainly stickers and post-its. And then here's all of my sketchbooks. Uh, there's a bunch. So I, I have a bunch of Stillman and Byrne sketchbooks. I have some notebooks that were gifted to me. Um, these right here I haven't completed, but these are the ones that I use from, from time to time. This is my Slice and Doodles sketchbook. Another Stillman and Byrne. And then this one is a Lloyd's Term sketchbook. And then these are the watercolor papers that I use. The Arsh is my favorite one, the hot pressed. And then this one I don't use too often, just kind of like one I would just use to play around with the illustration board. And then I have some paper palettes. And this is a cutting board that I use from time to time. And then these are some of my completed sketchbooks. My Inktober 2017. Um, I mean, most of them aren't completed. There are some that are completed, but the others are just ones that I don't really want to finish, but I still have. And just, I don't know. I might throw them away, but I don't know. <laughs> but I think three of them are completed. So and just a bunch of these small ones right here. My old home and diary. And now to the fourth drawer are my gadgets. <laughs> uh, these are, oh my gosh, this right here are two of my external hard drives that are kind of not working. Um, this big one I am currently using. And then I have my earbuds. And then I have two of my cameras. This is the Canon G7X. This one is the Canon EOS M. And the one I'm currently filming on is the M3. And then right here is my paper trimmer that I've had for many years. Behind it, I have all of my scissors, um, my bulldog clips, uh, my X-Acto knife, Below it, I have all of my tapes. Um, I have some glue and stamp. Now the last drawer is where I put all of my camera gear. I have like things from chargers, batteries, camera straps, lenses. I have other things as well, like chargers for my Kindle. Um, you know, all of that stuff. Gadget stuff. <laughs> now that is it for my workspace tour. I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope that you found some inspiration from all this. Maybe some ways to organize your art supplies and yeah, keep things fun and simple. Anyway, I will see you all in the next one. Bye!